Compliance or buy-in? Which one do you want if you're the leader of a business, organization, or team who is trying to roll out some type of change initiative? Well, let me explain the difference. Compliance is based on some sort of external threat or pressure, and it is the lowest form of engagement in a process that there is. The problem with compliance, while relatively easy to achieve if you apply the right threats or pressure, the moment there is a relief in that threat or pressure, people go right back to doing what is comfortable and familiar. Buy-in, on the other hand, is a little more work. We have to do some research. We have to understand why it matters to our organization, company, or team, and to the individuals that we need to be a part of the change process. And we have to now take steps to communicate clearly with them so that they understand why this change matters and why it matters to them. In doing that, we can achieve buy-in. This is where our team members, those who are part of our company, business, or organization, or team, all understand why this change is important, why it matters to the company, organization, or team, and why it matters to them. This produces engagement in the process of change. When you have compliance, the sentiment is, if we have to. Buy-in sounds more like this. I'm in. I want to do everything I can to make this change successful. Which one would you prefer? Compliance or buy-in? Only one of them produces successful and sustainable change.